Franz Kafka's The Castle, dramatised in two episodes by Ed Harris. Episode 2. You arrived at the Bridge Inn two nights ago, late in the evening. On your arrival, you made yourself known to the landlady... Uh... Gardena, sir. Why the Bridge Inn? Well, sorry? Why not present yourself to the castle immediately? It was late. The landlady put you in the maid's room. <laughs> Does that have any significance? Let's you and I work on the assumption that everything has significance, Mr K. The maid's room. Only after I showed my summons and papers. Papers you no longer have. A man from the castle, Schwarzer, he took them... Uh... Hollister? Schwarzer? No one I could find. Ah, and your assistant? The assistant, my assistant, never arrived. The two men claiming to be my assistant... And you claim to be a land surveyor. People's perceptions of even the tiniest details can differ, and... Well, Mr Key... I don't want you to think of our hearing as an interrogation. I'm not interested in... claims. Claims? What claims? That you used the public telephone to contact the castle, pretending to be your own assistant. I'm, I'm not interested in who called whom a parasite or your behaviour with an unmarried barmaid. In... I'm not interested in any of these mounting claims. But is clam... It would be a shame if everyone had their say except the land severe. Except the man in question, wouldn't it? Well, I have nothing to say about them. I've no complaints. This or... isn't a ledger of complaints. It's merely information. And I'm asking you to submit counter-information should that be something you were prepared to humour us with. You were lodging with the landlady of the Bridge Inn, correct? I was hoping to see Clam. Clam is my point of contact here. I only need... I didn't come here for the weather or, 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 or my health, Mr... Um... Secretary Mormus. And, and, and frankly, if the gentleman clam isn't here or isn't prepared to see me, then I needn't be here either. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Yeah, joke time's over. Sit down, Mr K. Sit. Mr K, sit. Hollister, could you help Mr K return... Oh, no need... Done it himself. Mr K enjoys his independence, don't you, Mr K? Solitary figure, gritted teeth, hero's profile. He puts a man like you to shame, Hollister. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hollister's merely a cog in the machinery of... What are you a cog in the machinery of, Hollister? Can't remember, sir. Machinery nonetheless, unlike you, Lance Severe, yes? I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know, and happy to say so. Like a clap of thunder, there's your answer. Yes, sir. Not a point-scoring, faceless little upstart like you, or dare I say me, Hollister. That you're Spain, conviction. Yes, sir. I can't, I can't see how any of this helps anything. I'm sorry if we're inconveniencing you, Mr Key. But if, if everything's written down, I mean, look at the size of the file as it is, and, and uh, how can I be guaranteed that it will ever reach Clamp? Please, sir, if a child bangs on like this, we can all laugh, but to have it from an adult, sir... Not necessary, Hollister. You, non-citizen, Clam appointed Mormus. Mormus is Clam's ears and eyes. Hollister. He's Clam's hand here in this room, Clam's hand. Hollister. Sir. Thank you. Now, Mr Lansevere... Does, does Clam even read these reports? Does Clam even... himself? Himself. Never. Then, Secretary Momus, what possible purpose can it have to for me to... I had my fiancé waiting at home for me. The hearing is voluntary, Mr Key. I can always fill in the rest of the report myself. Voluntary? Well, it's, it's common procedure to have the subject present for his own hearing, but we can't force anyone to. It, can we, Hollister? And I shan't be complicit in my own interrogation. There's that hero's gumption again, Hollister. Indeed, sir. Mr Key, if you leave this room, there is a risk you will become lost. Without a hearing, you may slip through the administrative cracks. Open the door. Do as he asks, Hollister. Mr Key, you do realise there is no end to this. There is no end... Thank you for your time. Starless. Pit black night. Lungs ringing with cold. Push on. 
If anyone can hear me! Anyone? Snow filling my mouth. Excuse me! Oh! Hell! My back! My bloody... Ah, back! Where's my cane? Hell! 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 Where's my... Excuse me! Sir! Hello! Mr. K! Sir! Sir! <laughs> Damn piss! How the hell did those dreadful assistants know where to look for me? Stay still. Stay silent. Let them pass. Where are you, sir? Gotcha! Uh, over here with your torch, Arthur. There's some sod... Found him! ...cowering in a stream and caked in Christ knows what. It's all of his sides and... It's mud. I'm looking for my cane. Is that him? Come on, grab hold of Daddy's hand and I'll give you an oopsie up. I can't. I lost my cane. Hunt! Sir. Impossible. I... Hand, if you please. Go on. Go on. What the hell are you doing, Arthur? I'm dusting you down, sir. Just getting rid of the grime and... And the, and the God knows what. You're shoving me. No, stuck fast some of this. Oh, look at it. Like something fished out of the latrine. Enough. Oh. Won't you say hello to your friend? Friend? Barnabas, what a... Well, this is wonderful. Hello, hello. Hello. What have you... Have you any news, Barnabas? A letter from Clam, Mr K. A letter from Clam, indeed. This is profoundly welcome news. And do you have it on you, young man? Oh, yes. Oh, here. Let me have a look at that. Oh. Well, then. Well, this is... Like the sir says, profoundly. Ah, profoundly welcome news. <laughs> to the land surveyor. Appreciated are all surveys thus far conducted. Uh, notwithstanding your assistants, who are no less praiseworthy in themselves. Oh, oh that is, that's nice, because... Oh, it's nice to get a mention. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, continued tenacity on all fronts hereafter anticipated. <laughs> Any interruption at this stage will be disagreeable in the extreme. I am keeping an eye on you. Oh. But this is... This is impossible. I haven't... Barnabas, I haven't surveyed anything. Yes, sir. No, don't just yes, sir. You're as bad as them. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my cane? Oh. Where did you drop it? In the stream. Go on. Go on! Now! Now! Oh. 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 Very well. This is this is unfortunate, Barnabas. Grave. It's it's disconcerting. Yes, sir. You must report back immediately and tell Mr. Clam. Tell him the gentleman has been regrettably misinformed. I can't interrupt work that hasn't been started. And presently, ah, if I could have a minute, half a minute, even ten words with the gentleman Clam, he'll see all concerns will be immediately um, not concluded, terminated, resolved. Thank you, Mr. K. I'll pass this on imminently, along with your last message. Fanta... Huh? The last message you gave me. Don't push me Thank in. you, Chief Executive Clam, for your kind message. With regrets, I Did you not deliver it to the castle the next day? The next day? After I gave you the last message, did you not go up to the castle the oh, next no, day? Oh, no, sir, no. My father's getting on a bit now. He's also a cobbler. In the name of everything holy, you... I... Extraordinary man! I, I'm talking to you about communication with the castle. Not, not, not. <laughs> yes, sir. No, Barnabas. No laughing. This is not. This is. This is. Deliver it to Clam immediately. When I give you a message, deliver it to the gentleman immediately. Otherwise, otherwise, well, I might as well send it with those two idiots. Are you all right, sir? No. No, I'm not all right. I'm. I'm. Right. Very good. Excellent. Right, Barnabas, I want you to take this message, this message I just gave you, to Clam. Tomorrow morning, first thing. Can you do that? I can. It's imperative he gets it first thing. Can you do that? Gets it and reads it. I... Gets it, reads it, and then you bring me his response immediately. 
Can you do that, Barnabas? Please. I can. I can wait there until he sees me, and then, yes, even if I wait all day, but I, I won't. I won't need to. I'll do it tomorrow morning, and I'll be with you by noon. Well, let's quarrel about it no longer. Go home and get a good night's rest. Yes, sir. I... I... Thank you, sir. Oh, and my sisters send their regards. Especially Amalia. Thank you, Barnabas. <sighs> you two. My cane. Oh, I've got it! Oh, yeah. 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 That's a branch! Uh. So, this is home now, Frida. Come in, come in. It must be miserable out there. It's only... Uh, boys, boots off, please. Oh, come on. We'll only have to put them on again tomorrow. Boys. Oh, oh come on. Mm, all right. Oh. Come here, Key, so I can see you properly. Come into the light. It's only the school hall, but I've tried to... You look so drawn. You barely fill your coat. <laughs> oh, God. I've got you. I'm just feeling a little off. Sorry. Let's sit down. Step at a time. Put your weight on me. Come on. There you are. You were gone a long time. I had some questions. Everything was all right? In the end. Coffee. I'll put some coffee on. We're caretakers now. This holds my home overnight. You didn't go and see those girls... Which girls? Barnabas' sisters. No. They make my skin crawl. I thought you must have stopped by on your way I back. didn't, darling, but they're Barnabas' sisters. Barnabas, I understand. Barnabas is work. Work can't be avoided, but... I forbid you from seeing those women again. Darling. Very well. Good. Food. It's only... Well, it's hardly... It's just thrown together. Sardines. Tinned, only. But bread? That sounds delightful. It's not much of a home. Only a hall. With the gym things to decorate the place. Ropes and... Well, ropes. But, in candlelight, there's a certain... Isn't there? Where did you get everything? Tablecloth? Coffee pot? The Herrenhof. But when did you go there? Before. Earlier. I even got you a pillow... Look, I'm heating the coffee over a spirit burner. Isn't that a thing? What's dinner? Your fella had us rolling around in the river just now looking for his cane. Look, practically icicles hanging off our knees. <laughs> oh, now, boys. I'm sure you're exaggerating a bit, aren't you? It was cold. Yeah. Plenty of sugar and nice and strong and hot. My. Uh, hands off, boys. Wait till Kay's had some. Then we can pass the cup round. But, but... Arter... Don't make me tell you twice. He won't learn. Unless you spank him. <laughs> <laughs> no one get overexcited. It's an early start tomorrow. Everything will have to be ready by the time teacher gets here. Isn't there any wood? We're stuck in wet clothes in a drafty little... It's like a warehouse, Frida. How can we sleep like this? There's a woodshed, but it's locked. I've got an axe. Why? What? I found one. Why were you looking for one? When we got here, I, uh just... looking. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sir, what do you like? Picture that, eh? <laughs> Him waking up in the middle of the night and there's me, like this. <laughs> right, huh? Glaring down at you, swinging an axe. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Wake up, it's time, you nasty little immigrant, you puny <laughs> little... Pretentious little upstart. Right, I'll lug you out to some quarry somewhere like a dog. Raise the axe above <laughs> my head and... Uh, enough. You'll give yourself nightmares. <laughs> hey, sir, you have a wicked sense of humour. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh, come on, Mr oh. King. Hey, how about we three boys go walkies and see if we can't find a woodshed out oh. there? Must you walk behind me? I feel escorted. You're saying nothing a yes now? No? No comment, sir. Come and stand here, sir. Where? Put out the lantern. Put it out? Put it out. 
Oh, look at the stars. How are your eyes? Can you see the school? Barely. Give me the axe. Here. Hurry up. I'm freezing my tits off. Right. Safety first. No sudden moves, Mr. K. Christ! Where are you going? Get him! Get off! I can't breathe! Oh, you quick little git, aren't you? Come on. Back on your feet. Now, back into position. Am I so much of a threat? Just by being here, am I really such a threat? And to whom? Mr. K. It's too late for all your am I's and was it's. And do you mind if I don't? <laughs> it's too late and we're too sober. Stand there. Here. What were free to say? What? One would think you had a nice enough situation here. Imperfect, perhaps, but lodgings. And you seem to enjoy Frieda well enough. Why bring everything to such an abrupt end? With myself out of the picture, she'd merely have to return to Clam and then... Give me the axe. You want to do it? I'm not precious about it. Here you are. Is there not some mutual benefit to my being here? Even if it's an inconvenience. Even if it's merely so that... Because you enjoy her company so. Jeremiah's... Give him the axe. What? Give Mr. K the axe. Here. Oh. Um. Good grief. Like I said, you and your little jokes, Mr. K, will be the death of me. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yes. What <laughs> an imagination. You thought, I, God knows what. I can't even bring myself to say it. <laughs> come on, boys, let's find the woodshed and stock up, even if it's only for tonight. We can always come back tomorrow night, can't we, Mr Kerr? If need be. Indeed. Wood, warmth, then Betty buys. Yes. Right now, I must say, I feel more than a little exhausted myself. Frida! Frida! Where are you? Hell! Frida! Jeremiah, Arthur, get the light. Am I alone? Can someone please. Matches, wherever the bloody. Ah, okay. The hall, utterly empty. The assistant's bed, a sprawl of sheets, and. and. I can hear you in the hall, gentlemen and Frida. I can hear giggling. What on earth are you doing, Frida? What the hell is my fiancé doing with those two sweltering great thugs out in the corridor without... without... Look at you! There was a cat. Sorry? There was a cat. And... Well, at least I didn't know it was a cat. At first, I just felt something on my chest, and then, because I didn't know what it was... Where is it now? Arthur and Jeremiah's. They tried to find it, but... A cat? Because they saw how it scared us. They chased it out into the corridor and... A cat? A cat-cat? A tabby. And this all had to happen out in the corridor, did it? That's where it went. The cat. Kay, why are you looking at me like that? Frida. Kay? Maybe this was fine for Clam at the Herrenhof, but it's not fine here with me. Honestly, I... Don't cry. Don't cry. This is sickening, this display of... of, of... <laughs> I'm sorry, Kay. And you in just your slip. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to... There's a lot I have to keep in my head at once. <laughs> Frida. It'll stop in a moment. It'll stop. <laughs> I did not say enter. This dismal, soppy affection you show them. Sometimes I think you prefer them to me. No, Kay. I promise... All I ever dream of is uninterrupted peace with you. A deep, narrow grave where we lie all wrapped up in each other. Mm. Well, please, kiss us back. Clam's still in touch with you, isn't he? Through them, that's what... You take what... them too seriously. I know that sometimes, but it's more sensible just to laugh it off, isn't it? You need to exert a little more authority over them. I mean, I appreciate, obviously, they're two somewhat attractive men, and but I must say, it's no joke to be under constant surveillance. We we'll all feel a little under surveillance, Key. Sometimes. What's that tone? Nothing. Frida. It wasn't a tone. It was... Do you miss him? Is that it? To miss him, there has to be an absence of him. And here, well, there's only too much clam. What do you mean? I just worry that you're becoming too... 
The only thing we need to worry about is warming the classrooms for the children tomorrow. That's all. Look, lie down. Rest your head. There really was a cat. Yeah, overthinking. Go to sleep. My God, I have never! Oh, 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 this is unacceptable! Oh, oh, Silence! Huh? Silence! <laughs> Silence! Where is he? Amidst all these strewn bodies and sheets and. Uh, up, up, up! Max, hitch me my cane. Now! Now, now! There's no need to shout, no teacher. Need to <laughs> oh, I'm glad we're amusing you two, lying around in a slovenly depressed state until mid-morning, like a bunch of... Uh, You've no uh, need to address my assistance, teacher. Mm. Any fault you find, and, I admit, looking at the state of the room... Look at the state of my desk! What things? Why did you... I was just about to tidy them away. Don't touch them! Don't touch them! Until... Children, avert your eyes. Until this woman has covered herself up. Okay, my things... Go and stand behind the gymnastic apparatus and dress yourself. And when you are presentable, you may go to the teacher's desk and tidy away your broken things. With respect, teacher. Who I... gave you permission to break into the woodshed? Caretaker. Sir, it wasn't him, sir. I did. I took the axe. It, it wasn't very hard. Children, avert your eyes. And I knew my fiance would be returning from the Herrenhof, and the room was cold, sir. And I'm dressed, teacher. You can remove your hand from your eyes. I'm at fault. I'm the only one at fault. Is this true, Mr. K? Well, um, last night, when... Uh, you two, he, the present... Yes, sir. Who broke down the door to the woodshed? Well, uh, um, Jeremiah's and Datur, isn't it? Uh, I'm Jeremiah's, he's... Uh, I'm... Uh, Max, my cane, please. Oh, huh? No. Uh, yes! Uh, Who broke into the woodshed? Atur. Oh, the gentleman did, sir. Jeremiah. Oh, no, sir, please. Who oh, oh, broke? Oh. Oh. God in heaven. It was him, sir. Him. Who? Stop it, please, God. Stop it. They're just babies. Miss? My fiance. You see, children, the Arabis, the sickly vermin standing there, disloyal even to his own. And you were able to stand there while others took the blame for your actions. Well, they're owed a thrashing. I've been too lenient on them. Cane him. He even looks oh, like this. Disgusting, sir. sir. Disgusting. Cane him, dirty gypsy. Kick him out. Kick, Kick him, him out. out. Mr. K, I require you to leave my sight and permanently leave my school. And take your family with you. You have no right to live amongst us as you are. Please. Sir, we didn't mean to. I was appointed here by the chief superintendent. And I answer to him. Hmm. Meantime, I'll clean the gym and warm the school for the day's classes. Children, we'll be taking class in the second room today. Out! Out! I'll meet you there. Including you, Clara, and you, Joseph... Put it down. It probably belongs to the caretaker. It's probably not clean. Jeremiah, Arthur, pull yourself together and find some wood to replace that which we took. Now! Oh, yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes. 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 Quick march. Hi, but it's, it's snowing, sir. We can't see a thing. I've locked it out. What? What's that for? Quiet. Now, apologies, teacher, but by and large, most of the trouble here has been caused by my assistant, and I think locking them out will... Yes. Are you certain you want to involve the chief superintendent further in your case? Quite. Uh -huh. Well, bear in mind, in your case, it may not always be advisable to trust your instincts. Remember how you behaved at your hearing last night? 
I behaved exactly as I ought. Then perhaps it's your perception of events, as well as your instincts you should be wary of. You'll hear from the chief superintendent by the end of the day. Come on, Frida. Let's see what we can straighten up. Don't you think we should let them in? They can always return to the castle. Go away! You are dismissed! But their little faces... It makes us so sad to see their little faces. There! Gone. I hate existence here. We should run away. I can't. What would have coaxed me to this desolate place were I not, in fact, meaning to stay? Hiya, sweetie. Sorry, lad. The class is being taken next door. We're only cleaning in here. I know. I just came from there. Oh, right. Well, something on your mind? I saw you at the fire engine festival. Well? I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> you want to be a caretaker? Well, that shouldn't be too no, hard. No, not, not like that. Like you. How do you mean, little man? In what way? Things are... I know. Um... One day you'll triumph over everyone. What do you mean? Everyone. I have to go. Well, wait a moment. You look worried, Frida. No, I'm not worried. I just... It's sweet. You have a little convert. <laughs> Don't take him so seriously. He's just a boy. Boys have imaginations and... You're smiling. Not me. Mm. Where are you going? I have to... I'm going to have a look at the woodshed. I have to buy some timber for a new door. In the village? In the village? It's not those sisters, is it? Please, Kate. And it won't help you or me to be seen with them. I beg you, don't get mixed up in their affairs. You swore. I did. I know it's not to see them. I need timber for a door. I was just wondering in, if... In, 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 please. Look, your shoes. You must buy yourself some proper winter boots. They're practically threadbare. Oh, they weren't when I arrived. Yes, but that was then. Why are you whispering? Father's next door with the fire chief. Sorry, I didn't spot you there. Oh, Amalia's lurking. I'm not lurking. Also, She's sh lurking so that she can... They... Him and Dad, the fire chief and Dad, are old work friends. That's Papa's certificate up on the wall. Fire officer, second class. Bit faded. Oh, the sign, not the... Yes, I realise. But the fire chief arrived 40 minutes ago and he just looked so... Didn't he, Amalia? He looked... Shh. So she's listening in. I can't hear anything. They're not saying anything. Oh, it's not a good sign. I shouldn't really have come by, but, um, it, it's... Your brother, Barnabas, actually. I, I gave him a message yesterday of paramount importance for Clam. Do you know, has he returned for the castle? I haven't seen him all day. Uh, Amalia, I'm if really you... don't go and whisper into the fire. Oh. And I don't want to hear any little, do you know... Yes, 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 this way. Now, do you want me to tell Mrs K you were here? Just ignore her. Please, sit. People have been coming by all day. In what sense? Daddy's a cobbler. Everyone in the village knows him, but today people... Not everyone, but almost everybody has been asking for their boots back. I don't follow. Nothing said. No one's actually said, but... Amalia received a letter from Sortini. She met Sortini at the festival the other day, the... Um, um, Trumped-up official, I remember. And we were all quite excited. Father, especially. And even Amalia cracked a smile. Oh. <laughs> And then last night she received this letter from him. Such handwriting, such exquisite lettering. Mm -hmm. But Mr K, I mean, the language. Language? Addressed to the girl with the garnet necklace and then this torrent of, of 
there wasn't one word of civility. I don't understand. Filth, utter, vitriolic, angry, very graphic. It doesn't do to gossip, ladies. Put pictures in your head, Mr K. Vulgar. I returned it to one of his messengers. I'm afraid I tore it up. It wasn't only vulgar. It ordering her to get up, essentially, that moment, visit him to discuss things further. Is this normal? Periodically. Clam was known for his letters. He, They'd say he wrote letters so coarse you'd... To the pit of your stomach, Mr K. Frida was just a little dairy maid, an orphan when she first went up to visit at the Herrenhof. I'm sorry, you probably don't want to know about all our activities before. Well, not really. Sometimes I lie in bed and wonder how Frida might have coped with them. Girls, perhaps you could say goodbye to the fire chief. Are you going already? I'm, uh, f- I'm afraid... Uh, well, I'm afraid this hasn't been a pleasant visit. I, uh But before I go... Oh, of course. Amalia, could you perhaps grab a chair and get down Daddy's certificate? Your certificate? Please. My knees are... No. Your fire certificate. Do as I ask. But that's out of the question. Why do you want your certificate? Olga, maybe if your sister won't, then... Yes, Papa. Oh, this is extraordinary. It's nothing of the sort. The fire chief is simply... Well, how uh... long have you and Father been friends? Amalia. I'm I'm very sorry to have to do this to you, but... uh... Well, the wife had left some shoes with you, too. Size four, flat soles. The buckle had a little... Uh... I think it came loose. Uh, it? A little. They can be ready by tomorrow. I... No, I, I, I don't think so. A certificate, Papa. Perhaps, uh Give it straight to the fire chief. I, I needn't... Uh... I, I'll send Barnabas round with the shoes later. They... That's, that's kind. I appreciate how well you... Well, how well you're all, you know, in the circumstances. Mr Fire Chief, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, I, I needn't take the frame. I mean, you could No, always... please, just just take it all. I, I can't... Well, well, good, dear. I petitioned the castle. Honestly. This afternoon, I thought, I thought it best, and I also spoke to the chief superintendent. Honestly. You don't need... Sorry. I, I don't have your boots. No, I'm not here for boots. I don't have anyone's boots. Father. I don't have anyone's bloody oh, boots. Oh, Daddy, let's, let's get you through to the kitchen and we'll put something warm on the stove. I don't have a bloody thing, darling. I don't I don't have a thing. Not a thing. I'm not saying you shouldn't have rejected Sortini, but maybe, maybe I could offer to pay more tax. This is all because of Sortini. Not doing as she was requested was one thing, but there was also a treatment of the messenger. Even if she'd only appeared to do as she was told, or even, probably, if she'd gone to Sortini's room, but gone properly and knocked and waited, he'd probably have been too busy or bored by then. Or People write letters all the time. No, she did exactly as she should have done. Possibly. But you're not anyone, really, are you? Perhaps not. The fact of the matter is, by acts of commission or omission, singling someone out amounts to isolating them. Hopefully... What was that? I didn't hear anything. Outside. It sounded like someone. I was saying, I have a small amount of, not even influence, but something with the servants at the Herrenhof. I'll do what I can. What? In the stables? They have connections. But you're not here for me. You want Barnabas... I was hoping he'd be back from seeing Clam. Why do you think the official Barnabas believes to be Clam is really Clam at all? I was led to believe. Barnabas was led to believe too. But we're also led to believe that Clam looks different depending on which stair he stands on and different depending on which window he looks out of. Well, surely that's just talk. The fact is, there was once a man who was pointed out to Barnabas and someone said, that's Clam. That's all we know. So... Barnabas is merely waiting around with letters for someone who... And we don't even know who he is. Some say Momus is clam. Father, come back! You're going nowhere! Get off! Get off me! Before, because, by God, I I will strike you if I have to, girl! A little hand, please! 
Where there? are you going, Daddy? Oh, he wants to go out in the street. I will petition the gentlemen from the castle as they pass the house. My court... In this rain? In this rain, in this suit, in this present frame of mind. Yes, yes, yes. But, Daddy, if that worked, people would do it all the time. Papa, stop. I did nothing wrong. The more guilty you behave, the more you're willing something to happen. Amalia, I am your father. And... Uh, what was that? There's somebody outside the window. And you said we weren't guilty. Can you see anyone? It's too dark. I think... I think I have to be careful not to be seen. Oh, everyone is deserting us. Perhaps if there's someone outside, is there possibly a second way out of the house? Through my bedroom, through Dad's workshop. There's a window at the back. Make an exit through windows, Kay. Sir. Who are you? Step up so I can see you, sir, and... Jeremiah's. You look different. That's because I'm alone. Without our tear. I'm, uh, I have less reason to laugh. Where is he? He returned to the castle to finish his report on you. What report? To whom? We were forced to end our assignment early. Because? Because of you, Mr. K. Because of thrashings, because of being chased into rivers and thrown into the snow, because... Plus, Arta is more sensitive than I am. Well, if you hated your appointment, and I hated your appointment, then why did because you Because I was on duty, sir. Well, sir, it seems to me you're no longer required to go sloping about after dark, listening at cracks of the window... I'm here, and... because Frida asked me. She was very unhappy when you set off for more dubious meetings. She needn't worry about that. I Good. Then I'll return to the Herrenhof and tell her that. Is she not at the school? Ah, well, after you left the school, we... Frida and I, that is. Because she was crying, Mr K. I thought it best if we, uh... In short, if she returned to the tap room. What? We all change, and then we change back again. Mr K. Not so. Not so, Jeremiah. She's simply gone home. Good night. Calm. Calm. Heart in my gullet. If I ran, I could at least hold her hands in mine. Explain before Jeremiah, with his deliberate misconceptions and... Sir! Sir! Where are you going? Barnabas, quickly, man, quickly. Success! I had... Oh, God, sorry. I've just come from the castle. I had... I had a bit of success. A message? Yes. You saw him? I did. I did try. I waited all day. I was there in my uniform and my, you know, straight back, good posture. Committed to uh, calm. being there. Did you see him? Who knows? He has such then, a... Uh, what is the good news, Barnabas? A langa... A langa works for clam. A langa sees me, sees me standing there and he approaches me, sir. Close as I am to you. Barnabas says it, he says... I can't do his voice. I say yes. Appointed to the land surveyor, are you? Again, yes. I'll be in room 15 at the Herrenhof tonight. Tell him I'm anxious to see him. Was that it? Alanga said it. On me life. Thank you, Barnabas. Bless you. Is this Erlanger's office? Mr. K? Yes. Land surveyor? Correct. I'm in a hurry. Sorry if I'm... I ran. I need to see Erlanger, but... Hmm, yes. Would you mind terribly if I just scoot up onto your shoulders? Pardon? There's a small hatch above the door here. Can you see? Thing is, before Erlanger, I need to see someone else first. Is it it's possible It's my job to... to have a peep through that hatch above his door and ascertain his, um, immediate state. From my shoulders. From your shoulders. I really do need to be quick. Thank you. That's my ear, not a damn foothold. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Keep. And up on one, three, two, two one. one. Oh. 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 Can you see anything? 
Can you see anything? Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hello, my name is uh, Gerstacker. Is Erlanger taking appointments uh, at present? Y you'll have to ask him. Uh, who? Up. Up on my shoulders. Oh, 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 oh my. Well, that's something you don't expect to see every day. <laughs> Hello up there. Very good. Down, down, Mr. Key. Uh, steady, steady. See? Oh. Oh, there we go. Alanga will ring the electric bell when he's ready to see you, Mr. Keir. Oh, is that what he said? Sorry. It's just I didn't hear him say anything. Uh, hello. Excuse me. You're here about a permit to work on the building site, oh, uh, yes? Yeah, that's correct. When he rings the electric bell... Uh oh A shape over Gerstacker's shoulder at the end of the corridor, bereft of colour, like a ghost. Uh, excuse me one moment. Uh, hold my place. Thank God I found you before. Has Jeremiah seen you? <coughs> oh, you look terrible, Keith. Frida, what are you doing here? I'm making beds. You don't look well, Keith. Is it that you think that I've been unfaithful? Let's discuss this in the classroom. I can't think about those girls without feeling sick. Precisely. They're hardly temptresses. No, the servants would disagree. Nightly. In the stables. What's her face? The younger one. Olga. Please, not her name. Really, Kay, what kind of marriage would it have been with those two skulking about? I could say exactly the same about those assistants who, darling, you let back in. Oh, you deliberately misconstrue situations. Situations? And, and how do I do that, precisely? Frida, don't walk away from me. Good night, Kay. And have a bath. You're not... You're my fiancé. Can we discuss this more privately, Frida? These are the servants' quarters. Please don't follow us. It's not nice. Please! I'm on duty, Kay. Then why have you led me to your room? I've led you nowhere. Two minutes. No. Why not? If we... Let's go inside and sit in private and... We well, wouldn't be in private. Is he in there? Well, these are the servants' quarters, Kay. You've got no right. <laughs> it's locked. Yes, thank you. It's clearly... Clam! Clam! You're embarrassing yourself. It's not him. It's... Oh, forgive me. I didn't hear you. I was half passed out on the bed there. I, uh... You only just got here. I caught a chill earlier. And as you can see, I think I'm not precisely at my best. But come in, please. Come in, Mr Keir. I'm very happy where I am, thank you. Frida? It wasn't our intention to upset you. Come on, Jeremiah. Take my shawl. We'll pop you back in bed and... This is it, Frida. This is it, is it? What about Mr K? Can't we just... Oh, I'm so sorry. So I suppose to you it must seem sudden. Why don't you step inside for a drink? Jeremiah's bed now. But I don't want to leave K all out here and alone and... Shh, shh. I'll pray for you. We both will, won't we, Frida? To bed, my love. Look, we'll have to go now, K. But Frida! The door closes on her room. Warm, bright, cosy. A little home disappears. I know why the blackbird sings A song so pure that comes from his heart He sings for his love, oh, I'll come back He sings because he is sad no servant, no Erlanger. All lights extinguished. Just... Hello? Go away! Is this room 15? Go away! Maybe if I can't find Erlanger. Find a spare room. Crawl into a bed. Under a desk. My ribs. My chest. Skin prickling like influenza. Excuse me. Hello? Lie down. Lie here. Oh. Breathe gently. Lie. What? Oh. 
Oh, Christ, 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 God help us. Please don't, sir. Um, look at my papers. Everything's in order. Look, I'll, I'll get... May I get the light? I'll just... I'll just... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> I was looking for Secretary Erlanger and... And then you thought, whoop de doo maybe there's an empty bed. And good God, man, when did you last eat? Look at you, like a... a, a um, uh, Mary... Uh, no, it's gone. I should go. Oh, don't bother. I'll never get back to sleep now. Everyone will be barking themselves awake in an hour. All the same. Marionette! Was... Look at you like a bloody marionette with its strings cut or something. Say, so sit here on the edge of my bed and stay perfectly still. And if I drift off, which I won't, then... Uh, <sighs> Maybe we could both sleep. Oh, alas. Sleep like miracles takes a little time. Sorry. Not at all. So... I know who you are, but you don't know... I, um, I am Burgel. I administrate between Mr Friedrich and the village. It's a restless job, a restless life, and not everybody's particular cup of tea, I should imagine. But then we can't all be land surveyors, can we? Apparently even those of us who are can't be. Sorry? Uh, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> how marvellous. How, how vicious. Notepad, notepad. <coughs> Here, yeah. beg pardon. No, no, but I infer a small denotation of truth in your, um, uh, flippant, uh, um, uh, we're not Mr Lansevere, we're not so royally ship here that we can let skilled workers go unworked. Well, I'll see if I can't have a bit of a poke about and, um, uh, resolve the, that. Uh... I appreciate that, thank you. No, not at all, not at all. Sometimes the whole system seems designed to deter the... Uh, yet, in truth, every day a small glance, a nod, a gesture from a stranger is an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity to be exploited, no? Hmm? Sorry. And maybe you feel it doesn't concern you. Mr Lansevere? L- listening. The... Prosthetic barrier between one and one of, i.e., us, which uh, as one of us, by whom soft I bed, is tucking fingers under the duvet, you, as in, in the fingertips, case, uh, you, warm as little loaves, office, being the dream like snow, and muffles. Dream, I think. The village where I grew up, and the wall every boy could climb, except me my tragic celery stick arms. Then one day I did, when no one was looking, climb to the top and look down on all the little gravestones, scattered like a town. Before them, like a ringmaster, me, triumphantly. How do I get down? Mr K. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I... So... In conclusion, when persons arrive unannounced in the middle of the night to a secretary not their own, said secretary must point out that said member of public can now, like a ringmaster, Ringmaster. control everything. Documents, passes, permits. They are all quite... Look... (laughs) <laughs> oh, everything is prepared. I'm, I'm not following. You're not following? <coughs> oh, good God, is that blood? Are you unwell? Virgo! Oh, bombs, that's your appointment. It was Erlanger you wanted, wasn't it? But what were you saying before about, um, papers? Virgo! <sighs> There's someone with you in there. Oh, he's just coming! Secretary Erlanger! Go, Mr Lansevere, go, go. Um, don't forget your cane. Stand up tall. Yeah, whoopsie, don't stumble. <laughs> Straight spine, shoulders back. He's coming, Erlanger. But... But Mr Burgle. Mr K. Oh, um, yes? This way, if you'd kindly. Uh, yes, uh, uh, let me take your arm there. Oh, how heavy you are. <sighs> Ooh, you might have washed. Oh, uh, am I? Where were you? Well, I when I came previously. Please, the I... point is, you weren't here, and I waited, and now you are here, and I have to go. Indeed. Agreed. Your shirt, sir. Thank you. 
Well, let's not piss the rest of our lives away over the matter, Mr Land Surveyor. You know a girl, um, uh, um... Frida. And once upon a time, Frida worked in the tap room here, yes? Um... Is he listening? He's nodding, sir. Your eyes are better than mine. Lift your legs, sir. What? Boots. Ah, oh, uh, yes. Frida used to do for Clam his niceties and necessities. All well and good, but then this Frida disappeared. No, she's back now. I can't hear a bloody word he's saying. He was agreeing, sir. Even if someone had removed a stain, we'd ask them to put it back. She deserted me. She, she deserted me. Personal feelings must be left out of this. That girl, the... Uh, the Frida. The one I mentioned, must be returned at once. Uh, that is all. Your fur cap, sir. Thank you. Is it a scans? Uh, no, sir. Mr Secretary Erlanger, I don't have any... That is, Frida is her own woman, and already back by her own volition. Did he get that? Did he take it down? I'm not her fiancé anymore. He liked it very much, sir. He's underlining the bit about Steens. God, that'll be the trolley. I'm late already. Good day. I'd love to help in the... But it's out of my hands. She's her own... Well, that's your own affair. You have to go now. Good morning, Secretary. Your file, sir. Commotion from all the rooms, like a hundred hearts beginning to beat against a hundred rib cages. More files, sir. But no one leaves their rooms. A servant in a well-fitting grey suit pushes a trolley. Secretaries, come on out! Come on out, wherever you are! Creak. Doors open a peep. Little eyes squint out, then disappear. What does the bell signify? One of the gentlemen wants help, Mr K. Why? Even ghosts disappear when morning comes. I don't follow. You're still here. Jesus Christ, Key, you're still here. It's OK, gentlemen. I'm dealing with the obstruction. Do you know this vagrant, Frida? No. Not really. Barely. It's disgusting. Can't you remove it, please? Think of the gentleman. Go. Now. Hands on my back, pushing me. I had no idea. Oh, don't give me that. I had no idea I was so important. But look, the idea that they can't begin their days while I'm here. <laughs> you know precisely what you're doing. And you knew the precise consequences of... Get that trolley out the way. Out no, the way! No need to shove, Penny. Then, there, on the trolley, just as the chief superintendent had described it, a blue scrawl on the front, land surveyor, and beneath, clam. Wait! There's no time. The gentleman must be up. And bathed, you have and... my file. That's mine. It's free that my file. These have nothing to do with you. But... And before my eyes, in half and in halves again, white scraps dropping away like snow. These have nothing to do with you. It wasn't even a file, Key. It was just a scrap of paper. It was... Come on. It was... It was proof. It said land surveyor. Frida, it... You've driven me to this! And you're disgusting! And... And a parasite! Frida! Please! The darkness, nerve-wracking at first, gives way to a sense of sudden, unexpected freedom. I can remain here, in the yard of the Herrenhof in a place forbidden to me, as long as I like. No one can drive me away. In the end, this is a kind of freedom. Waiting. Lands are there? We met outside Air Langer's office last night? Ah. Uh. The permit? Yes, for... yes. Uh, Gerstacker. Uh, permit for the building site. 
that's it. You're not to worry about anything. Oh? <laughs> Do you know anything about horses? Nothing. Huh? Then you can look after the horses. There's a mattress in the attic, and if you need payment, that's a bear. Fret not. But why? You don't... Is this... Do you think I have influence with Erlanger? Oh, what a ridiculous notion. He takes my arm. Gerstacker's cottage is dimly lit. His mother sits under the rafters, in candlelight, takes my hand at once and has me sit directly beside her. She held out her trembling hand to Kay and had him sit down beside her. She spoke with great difficulty. It was difficult to understand. But what she told him. I know I'd black birds. In Franz Kafka's The Castle, the cast was K. Dominic Rowan, Jeremias, Mark Benton, Arthur, Daniel Wayman, the teacher and Gerstacker, Stephen Greif, Amalia, Rachel Bavage, Frieda, Sammy T. Dobson, the father and Burgle, Jonathan Cullen, Barnabas, Neil Granger, Olga, Victoria Elliott, Hollister and Erlanger, Ross Waiton, Momus and the fire chief, Trevor Fox. The children were played by Dominic Deacon, Alex Taylor McDowell, Alice Martin, Maddie Hill, and Tegan Williams. The Castle, dramatized by Ed Harris and produced and directed by John Taylor, was a fiction factory production for BBC Radio 4. It's because his side.